detected the buzzers, the machine is raring to go. So let's play tipping point. And welcome to Tipping Point. Three players will be facing our machine, and they're all hoping to win thousands today. So, let's meet them. I'm Chris, a recruiter from Dunfermline. I'm Anne, a pharmacy technician from St. Helens. And I'm Chaz, a behaviour mentor from Stourbridge. Good luck to you all. Let's play Tipping Point. In round one, you each start with three counters. Questions are on the buzzer. If you buzz and give me a correct answer, you'll have a choice to make. You can either choose to play one of your counters into the machine, or if you think the machine isn't quite ready, you can get one of your opponents to play one of theirs instead. Get out of the machine, we'll add £50 to your score. That includes our mystery counters, which of course come with a bonus prize. But also nestled in the machine, we do have two double counters. If one of those falls for you, it will double the entire value of your drop. And should one fall with the jackpot counter at the end of the game, you'll be leaving £20,000 richer. Now, all three of you will be going through to play in round two, but of course you'll want to try and bank as much money as you can throughout the game. So do keep an eye on those two double counters because they could make all the difference. Everybody ready? Hands on your buzzer comes your first question. Originally painted on a pub in Brighton, Kissing Coppers is an artwork by which British Chris? Banksy. Which British graffiti artist? You're absolutely right, Chris. It is Banksy. Would you like to play or pass the first counter? Uh, I'll pass to begin with, please. OK, to Jen or Chaz? Uh, let's go for Chaz. Right then, Chaz. Oh, thank you. <laughs> let's see if we can get some money with this first drop. Where do you want to go? I think I'll go for drop zone four, please. Looks good, doesn't it? Fire up four, please. Oh, hammers down. Stays on its edge. You've got a little mystery on that side. Just Please don't go flat. in the corner. Please don't go flat. No, we want it to go flat. There you go. Oh, that's it, yes. Yeah, 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 the opposite, chest. <laughs> I did the opposite, yes. It Reverse got flat. psychology. <laughs> I like your style. There's that mystery that was tucked away. It's going to work for you here. It's going to work very nicely, Chaz. Wow. Chaz, nine counters across the tipping point. £450. <laughs> Let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank. And you've got two counters still to play. Here's your next question. What word can refer to the face of a clock as well as the action of entering... Jen. Face. Going to go on to say, a face of a clock as well as the action of entering numbers to make a phone call. Uh, Dial, Jen. Face. Dial's what we're after. Sorry. I'm afraid I'm going to have to steal one of your counters. That's going into the penalty box. You'll all be playing for that at the end of the round. Here's your next question. In an adult human body, the skull... ..from which hard, brittle substance? Chris. Bone. It is bone, yeah. Now... In the past, Chris, or would you like to play this one? I know I've been stung once already, haven't I? Um, I am the pass again, though. OK, to Jen or Chas? Jen. Jen. Right. Let's see if you can be as successful as Chas. Where do you want to go? I'll try drop zone one, please, Ben. Fire up one for Jen, please. <laughs> Flies down. Ooh, another one staying on its edge. See if this one goes flat. It's in the right spot. Yeah, there we go. Lovely. Can we get a couple over the top shelf? Maybe get this mystery. Yeah, get the mystery. It's on the bottom shelf. Yeah, there you go. It's Chris giving another set away. Oh, oh dear. Oh. Just been swallowed at the back of the shelf. So, sadly, nothing for you on that one, Jen. Still got one counter left to play. Here's your next question. Known for the Allied evacuation during World War II, the port of Dunkirk is located in which European country? Chris. France. It is in France. Now then, Chris, you've been very generous with the passing, but would you like to play finally? Yeah, I'll give him um, one a go, please. OK. Drop some one, please. Jen did just leave a few dangling there. That's the wrong side. It's not the right side, no, for Jen. Are you going to get any other side? Oh, a couple might. Little tease for you. Yeah, you got them in the end. Well done. Four counts for you there, Chris. The mystery did survive, but we'll take those four. Yep. That's £200 with your first drop. Off the mark. Let's put it into your bank, and you've still got two left to play. Here's your next question, guys. In 2021, former football manager Harry Redknapp made a cameo appearance in which BBC soap opera? 
Chaz. EastEnders. Yeah, it was EastEnders. Nicely done. Right, Chaz, do you want to play or do you want to pass? I think I will play, please, okay. Ben. Where do you want to go? Drop zone one, please. Let's hit drop zone one, Chaz, please. Eyes on the prize there, maybe. Get it out of the machine. Whips down. Oh, a bit quick there, wasn't it? Was, it was, wasn't it? I'm not going to get nothing, am I? Oh, maybe. That's nice. Little gap at the back. Wow. So you're not going to get nothing, Chaz. You're charming the machine. Look at that. Five counters for you. £250 this time, going along very nicely. Let's take it, put it into your bank. It's going to put you on £700, Chaz, and you've got one counter still to play. OK, thank you. Here's your next question, guys. Scarlet Lady is a cruise ship that was the first to be produced for which company founded by Richard Branson? Jen. Virgin. Yep, I can accept Virgin. Virgin Voyages or Virgin. Now, Jen, would you like to play your last counter or would you like to pass to Chris or Chas? I'll thinking? play, please. You're going to play. Great. Yeah. Where are you going to go? I'm going to try for drop zone three this time. Let's change it up. Fire up three for Jen, please. The lucky one. Yeah, I think I would have done the same. Let's see, Jen, if we can get you some money, get you in the game. Ooh, looks like a good side. If the top shelf wants to play, not sure though. Oh, he's just a bit of a splitter it's there. Being really mean to me. It is being really mean. <laughs> I agree. Really mean. That was your third and final counter, Jen. For the time being, you are out. Chris, you've still got two counters left. Chaz, you've got one. Okay. Here's your next question for you two. The Pittsburgh Penguins and the Philadelphia Flyers are US teams that play which ice-based sport? Chris. Ice hockey. Yep, that's correct. It is ice hockey. Right, Chris, you gonna do it? You gonna play? Yeah, I'll uh, go for three this time, please. Fire it up, please. Picking off Jane's hard work again. Oh, fingers crossed. Taking it out of the right. Yeah, it's that side, isn't it? You can sneak past that black counter, yeah, squeeze it there. Oh, oh, no luck. Just filling a hole. Yeah. Nothing from that drop. Here's your next question. In March 2021, scientists in Iceland went viral after cooking hot dogs on lava during an eruption of which type of mountain? Jazz. Volcano. Of course, it's a volcano, yeah. Right, Chaz, you're going to play your last one? Yes, I am, please, Ben. Where are you going to go? I'm going to go for drop zone one, please. Right, drop zone one for Chaz. Slow, 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 slow. You got away with that then, Chaz. I oh, just did, didn't I? Risking it. Price. It is. He's got his yeah. eye on the prize. He's <laughs> got about the timing. Is it going to work? Yes, it might work over the top. Is the mystery going to go for you? Ooh, the mystery survived. The mystery survived. Had a little tweak. <laughs> it did. It thought about it. It did, and it? then decided better to stay in the machine How for the time you? being. <laughs> £50 did drop, though, Chaz. Let's take it and put it into your bank. That's going to leave you on £750. You've now used all three of yours, so for okay. the time being, you are out. Thank you. Chris, it's just you left in, because it's just you. You don't need to use your buzzer. You do need to give me the correct answer to this question to put that last counter into the machine, all right? No worries. Here's your last question, Chris. Born in 1763, Empress Josephine was the first wife of which famous French military general and emperor? Napoleon? It was, yeah, Napoleon Bonaparte. Well done, Chris. Just got your answer in in time. You've got one last counter to put in. I think I will go three again, please. Power it up, please. It does feel like there's a lot of money. Chaz was being seduced by the prize. It's got flat. It's flat. It's a good start. Is that going to slide over into drop zone four, though, as it goes forward? I hope not. Oh, no, there you go. Well nice. Done, done. Good spread as Come well. Come on. Oh, oh what the chances? <laughs> Just the one counter, I'm afraid. Let's take that £50 from the machine. That's going to be on £250. So, as things stand, Chaz is leading with £750. Chris has £250. Jen's got nothing in the bank. But it's not over. We have one counter up for grabs in the penalty pot. So, I'm going to ask you all one more question. If you buzz and give me the correct answer, you put the counter into the machine. If you buzz and give me the wrong answer, you will be frozen out. Good luck, everybody. Here comes your penalty pot question. The word Earth is an anagram of which vital organ, Jen? Heart. In the human body. Very well done, Jen. Brilliant stuff. That's absolutely right. It is the heart. Oh. Just had a little ambient drop there. Those two clinging on did drop. Sadly, the four counts in the wind zone will have to be removed and voided from the machine. 
Right, you have one penalty pot counter. Where do you think uh, you're going to get the most money? Drop zone three. Drop zone three? Yes, please. Fire it up, please. <laughs> OK, that could be a really nice spot. If it stays flat for no. you. It is flat. Nicely done there, All Jen. Right. So, a good squeeze here. We need something over the top shelf. Maybe to move the double in four down. Come on now. Come on. Ooh. Oh, Jen, that's so cruel. Oh, they got now. I'm not sure. They're just riding. They were so close. You might get a little nibble. Oh, Jen, I'm sorry. You did the hard job. You got the penalty spot counter. The machine had other thoughts. You're staying where you are for the time being. We are at the end of the round. Chaz is leading with £750. From Chris on £250. Jen's got nothing in the bank just yet. So join us after the break to see which of today's three players are winning through to our head-to-head -head and a shot at our £10,000 jackpot. See you in a bit. Welcome back to Tipping Point, where Chris, Jen and Chaz are battling it out for the right to play for today's jackpot. In this round, each of you will have 45 seconds to answer as many questions as possible. Every correct answer will win them a counter to play into the machine. However, this time, the player with the lowest score at the end of the round will be eliminated from the game. Now, Chaz, you're way out in the lead, so you get to choose. Would you like to play first? Would you like to offer Jen or Chris the chance? I think I'd like to play first, please. OK, 45 seconds for you, Chaz. You might. I'll give you a counter. If you don't know, just say pass. OK. 45 seconds for Chaz, please. Your time starts now. Madame Two Swords is known for creating life-size replicas of celebrities, primarily using what mouldable substance? Wax. Correct. Something in triplicate existed in how many identical parts? Three. Correct. Which alcoholic drink is also famously known as the Green Fairy? Tequila. Absinthe. In 2021, Rob Cross won the European Championships in which sport? Golf. Darts. On which continent is the country of Peru located? The Americas. It's South America. Pat Mustard the Milkman is a character in which Channel 4 sitcom set on Craggy Island? Cluedo. Father Ted. The mobile game Sonic Rush was produced by which video game company? Sega. Correct. Just got your Sega question in time. Well done, Chaz. You've got three correct answers, though, Chaz. Mm -hmm. So three chances to get something from the machine. Where would you like to start? Uh, drop zone one, please. OK, we're going to persist. Fire up one, please. Oh, Chaz. That was appallingly timed. And there oh, you go, you've got a rider. Reason. I've got a rider. Unfortunately, if you don't get your timing right, that can happen. No joy, I'm afraid. Right, okay. two more to go. Staying with one? Yes, one, please. Drop zone one, please. Oh, Ooh. it's got to stay flat. Better timing, but it just stays on its edge. Is it going to go flat, stay flat for you? It is flat, yeah. Heading in the right direction for you. Yes, it's heading in the right so, direction. Jen. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, that looks like it'll do it, doesn't it? What's the prize going to be? Is it going to go? Oh, 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 Two <laughs> counters to dropped for you, though, Chaz. £100 for those two. Well done. Thank you. Finally got your hands on the prize, which is a supercar experience courtesy of Into the Blue. Oh, wow. That's great. Thank you. One more count to put in as well, Chaz. What do you think? I thinking? think I'm going to try Drop Zone 2, please. OK. You've not been there yet, so let's have Drop Zone 2 for the first time, please. OK, nice and central. It's flat. It's and flat. it's flat, yeah. Is it going to take the top shelf for me? Yes. Yeah. There's a couple that look vulnerable there. You're going to get a little help. Ooh, they look tasty now, don't I'll they? I've just set everybody up. I'm just done. leaving your danglers there, Chaz. Let's take the £100, put it into your bank, and that's going to leave you on £850. Thank you. Right, Chris, you are ahead of Jen, so it's your choice. You can play next, or you could ask Jen to play. Uh, I'll play. OK, please. 45 seconds for Chris, please. Your time starts now. In which century did John Major serve as Prime Minister of the United Kingdom? 20th. Correct. The Walt Disney World theme park, Epcot, is located in which US state? Florida. Correct. The official Australian coat of arms consists of a shield supported by a kangaroo and which large feathered bird? Ostrich. Emu. Which American author wrote the 2003 novel We Need to Talk About Kevin? Pass. Lionel Shriver. 
The plastic fabric known as pleather is designed to resemble which other material? However, correct. Which Birds of a Feather actress opened her first Academy of Performing Arts in 2007? Pass. Pauline Quirk. Brinza is an Eastern European variety of cheese traditionally made from the milk of which animal? Uh, cow. Sheep. Which leading 19th century American poet? Out of time in this one. Which leading 19th century American poet wrote the poem I'm Nobody? Who are you? Did you know? No. Emily Dickens. Three correct answers for you, Chris. Mm -hmm. Three counts put into the machine. So where do you want to start? Uh, I, I think I will go for two and try to benefit his good work there. OK, drop down two it is. Oh, and a steady drop. And it'll okay, down slowly. Now. It's settled nicely, it's though. See, we get the mystery over. Get close, won't it? We need to slide it on that right hand side. Yeah. There you go. Just going to split them. Yeah, it does. Find what you want. Yeah, you do. Two more to go. Staying with drop zone two? Yes, please. Let's fire two up. Oh, that's the side, isn't it? Yeah, it likes that side. A little nudge could be enough to send something over. Down you go. It's flat. Yeah. Hopefully. We should get some of the lots of I think. Oh, no. yeah, just Oops. Come on. Spread as well. There you go. Nicely done. Wow. Ooh, nice what? drop. Just keep Very it on. Nice. So three as well. Look, there you go. Have oh. a little bit more if you want, Chris. Oh, come on, that'd be lovely. Wow. It is lovely. Goodness me. Happy <laughs> days. Oh, just watch out for that mystery. The mystery looks like it's going to go any moment. I haven't changed anything, though. Chris, what a drop that is. 19 counts across wow. the tipping point in one go. They had been building very nicely. 950 pounds in that drop puts you way in the lead. And you've got one counter still to go as well. What now? I will go for two again, please. OK, drop zone two, please. Bit of a gap there, you might just fill a hole. Unless you get a bit of lateral on those two oh, and I think three. it's going to do. I can't complete too much. Oh, there you go. Oh, just squeezes some into oh, three. Large. There's another gap there. Hmm. Filled a few holes here and there, but what a fabulous drop that was. £950 in one go. Let's put it into your bank. That's going to put you in the lead on £1,200. Nicely done, Chris. Right then, Jen, we come to you. OK. 45 seconds for Jen, please. Your time starts now. Something described as Leonine resembles which large cat that is native to Africa? A lion. Correct. Which high street shop chain that closed in 2009 was colloquially known as Woolies? Always. Correct. Which former in excess lead singer is the focus of the 2019 documentary film Mystify? Um, somebody Hutchins? Uh, Michael Hutchins. <laughs> Sheila Burling and Gerald Croft are characters in which 1945 J.B. Priestley play? Pass. And Inspector Calls. Avalon and Verna are two varieties of which sour-tasting yellow citrus fruit? Lemons. Correct. The majority of the Aegean islands belong to which European country? Greece. Correct. In November 2021, Eddie Howe was appointed as the manager of which English football club? Did Not you know? Clue. Newcastle United. Four correct answers in there, Jen. Four counts okay. put into the machine. I couldn't accept Hutchins, it's Michael Hutchins. <laughs> but you've given yourself a chance with four counters. OK, let's do this. Yeah, we need 17 to catch Chaz. Oh. There's a double down there on the bottom shelf. Nine with a double and you'll do that. Okay. What are you thinking, Jen, looking at it? I'm going to go for drop zone two to start with, please. OK, ben. So drop zone two, please. <laughs> Flips and flops around the drop zone. Settled nicely on the right-hand side, and it's flat. It could come right for that mystery. There's a couple on the edge there. Jen, you got your eye on, I think. Is that black counter going to go? Oh, surely. Yes, it did. Go on, now. Yay! Nicely done. You're off the mark. We've got you something. <laughs> Four counters there, Jen. £200. Three to go. Where would you like to go next? I'm going to stick with drop zone two, please. OK, let's pursue drop zone two, please. Settle. Staying on the edge, aren't they? Not helping you there. And that's riding as well. Didn't need that, Jen. With only four to use. And a long way to go. Nothing going. Two more to go. OK. 
I'm giving up on that side. I'm going to go with Rap Zone 4, okay. please. Fuck Rap 4, please. <laughs> Top shelf, bottom shelf, there's a double. Could get it close. Is it flat? Yeah, it's nice and flat. Couple going out over the top. Yep, here we go. Come on. Anything coming forward here. Gonna lift the double and move it forward. Oh, mm. Jen. One more to go. Drop zone four, please, Ben. One last hit on drop zone four for Jen, please. Oh, Jen. Get down. Oh, is it going to be flat? No, it's riding, Jen. Last one. Come on, give us something. Go, 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 go. Oh, Never Jen. Mind. It was a tough <laughs> ass trying to get a 17 with four counters. £200 won't be enough, though. Let's put that into your bank. And that means at the end of the round, it is Chris who is leading with £1,200. Chaz goes through with £850. Jen, I'm so sorry, but that means with £200, we have found a tipping point. Thank you so much for playing. Oh, thanks for having me. Our pleasure. It's been Good lovely luck, to meet guys. you. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> so it is Chris and Chaz who will be going head to head after the break for the right to play for our £10,000 jackpot. Now, though, it's your chance to win an amazing cash prize. For £30,000, go to the website. Entries cost £2. Text WIN to 65433. Text costs £2 plus one standard network rate message. Call 09068 785 433. Calls cost £2 plus your network access charge. Post your name and phone number to TP232, PO Box 75588, Derby DE10NQ. Entrance must be 18 or over. Lines close at 10 a.m. Monday week. Welcome back to Tipping Point. We have just two players remaining, Chris and Chaz. Well done to both of you for getting this far. So in this round, you're each going to be asked three questions alternately. On your question, you can choose to answer or you can pass it to your opponent. If you give me a correct answer, you put the counter into the machine. If you give me a wrong answer, your opponent puts the counter into the machine. Whoever has the most money at the end of this round will be today's winner. They'll be playing for our jackpot. You have just snuck into the lead, though, Chris, in that last round, so you have the choice now. You can take the first question if you think the machine is ready. Alternatively, you could pass it to Chaz. Oh, I'll pass and go so well, but, yeah, I'll pass again. Pass right, then. Chaz. First oh, question you. for you, then, Chaz. You get control okay. of the machine. Here we go. In 2021, a 24-year-old student from Glasgow became the youngest ever champion of which long-running BBC quiz show? If you're not sure, you can pass to Chris. Do you think he'll know? That's a very good poker face, Ben. Good enough away. Um, but I think I will uh, take this answer. You're going to take it, OK? What are yes. you going to say? Mastermind. You're going with Mastermind, all right? Let's see if you're right. Is the answer Mastermind? Yeah, Jonathan Gibson, just 24 years old, goodness me. Well done, Chaz, good answer. You get the first counter. <sighs> Where would you like to put it? I think I'm going to go with uh, Drop Zone 1, please. <laughs> Your favourite. Yes. All right, Drop Zone 1 for Chaz. Oh, it won't settle for you, Chaz, but if we get it flat... Yeah, it is it's flat. flat it's yes. flat, yes. good squeeze. We don't need to go over the, over the top now, don't we? Yeah, something... Yeah, that black counter there. Now, it's a few on the edge that look like they could go, Chaz. Mm -hmm. And they will, well done. Four counters, that'll take a chunk out of Chris's lead, £200. Let's take it and put it into your bank. Let's put you on £1,050. Right, Chris, we come to you. Time for your first question. What verb can mean both to ride a horse for light exercise and to axe a computer network illegally? You can pass if you're not sure. I'll pass this, I think. OK, nothing's come to Chris. Chaz, anything right. coming to mind? I can't think of what, what it is for a horse, but uh, if you access a computer illegally, then I would think that you'd be hacking. Never heard that word used for horse riding. So I'm going to go with my gut and go hacking. Hacking? Hack. To hack? Yeah. I'll say hack and hacking. So yeah. Then. OK. Yeah. Is the answer to hack? Yeah, it is. Wow. A hack is wow. something you can do. You jump on your horse and go for a quick hack, apparently. If you ride your horses, you'd know. Didn't know that at all. You had to go for it, Chaz, and it paid off. Yeah. You steal okay. on the counter and a chance to close the gap further. Where do you want to go? I think I'm going to go for uh, my my favourite area. <laughs> one, please. Job zone one it is. Oh, 
settle quickly there. Yep. Is that little He's stash going to go over? Oh, you've got one in three going as well. Top it's all yours at the moment. Four more across the tipping point, Chaz. £200 for both those drops there, those two clusters. Let's take it and put it into your bank and we can see what that's done to the scores. You are now leading on £1,250. And you keep control, Chaz. Time for your second question. The region of Wallonia constitutes the southern part of which European nation? You don't have to answer, but you can pass it. I think I will pass this one, please, Ben. Right, not ringing any bells for Chaz, so Chris. Wallonia, ever heard of it? No. <laughs> In a word. All I'm thinking is Catalonia. Catalan, obviously. Spain. So that's the only thing I can kind of try and relate it to, so I'll go for that, I'll go for Spain. OK, let's see if you're right, Chris. We could really do with this counter, because yeah. Chaz has just got into the lead. Is it the southern part of Spain? It's not, no, it's Belgium. It's the French-speaking part of Belgium. It's Wallonia. Right. OK, hard luck, Chris. Chaz, good pass. Chris was wrong. You get the counter. I'll stick with drop zone one, please. Let's ben. do it. Fire up drop zone one. Drop zone one's got you into the lead. Is it going to carry on extending the lead here? I think it might. Nice, tall stack of counters. Where are you going to go? Yeah, they are. Well done. Three counters. It does extend your lead by £150. Further. Let's take that and put it into your bank. It's going to put you on £1,400. Right, Chris, time for your second question. In 2021, which British designer launched their first collection of garments made from the vegan material Milo? M-Y-L-O, Milo. I've not even... I don't even know where to begin <laughs> with that question. Uh, so, it's a comfortable pass, I think, <laughs> for me. <laughs> Thank you. It looks very comfortable on Chaz as well. British designers. So I'm going to go with this. This is just a completely random guess, Stella McCartney. Stella McCartney. Is the answer Stella McCartney? Yes, it was. Oh, Excuse me. <laughs> Famously wow. vegetarian, of course. And another counter for you. Chris is just mm. watching them go into the machine. I know, it's, not, it's not good. Yeah. It's, it's not it. good. But where are we going to put it? So I'm going to try drop zone two, please, Ben. Let's go for drop zone two, please. Get far wrong enough, side, right. wrong side. I'm not sure it has. Didn't drop it? right. Didn't drop right. Sure. Really. No. No, it didn't. Survived that one. You did. Yeah. No damage done there, Chris. Fortunately. Chaz, you keep control though. Time for your third and final question. Okay. In the diatonic scales of Western music, the octave is an interval of how many notes? You can pass this to Chris if you're not sure. Um. I'm going to play this one, You're going to play it? Yes. All right. I'm going to say eight. You're going with eight? Eight. Chris, what would you have said? I would have said eight. You'd have gone eight yeah. as well. Let's see if you're right, Chaz. This will be five out of six counters so far in this round, if you are. Is the answer eight? Yeah, it is indeed. Right. Another great answer. Well done. Thanks to my music teacher there. <laughs> right, let's see if we can get you some money, because there's still only £200 between you, and there's still plenty in the machine. What are you thinking? Drop down four, please. Light up four, please. That's where I'd be going. And that's where Chris fancied it as well. Oh. See if it just drops down. It's flat, it got that's down flat. flat. That looks healthy. That kind of going to go. Yes, it does. Oh, and they've separated nicely. Is it going to stay on it? Yeah, with the double shove. Oh! But just one feeds into the wind zone. So just the 50 pounds. Let's take that from the machine. There's so little between the two of you at the moment. That could be absolutely crucial. Put it into your bank. Chaz is going to leave you on 1,450 pounds. Right, Chris, your third and final question in this round. Yep. The name of which alcoholic spirit is derived from the Gaelic for water of life? You can pass this to Chaz if you're not sure. <sighs> right. Water of life. Speak much Gaelic? I don't. I would assume with whiskey being so Scottish-based, I feel like I need this. So I've guessed whiskey. You're going for it? Yeah. OK, you could have passed. 
You're sort of taking an educated guess on this. Is it whiskey? Yes, it is. Well done. Did the right thing, trusting yourself. Apparently, I'm going to do my best with this. The Gaelic word is ishkabaha. Oh, yes. Ishkabaha. Yes, is that Rebel Chris? No. <laughs> that could be my accent, though. <laughs> Apologies to anyone <laughs> I've offended with my ishkabaha. Not at all. Uh, Chris, we can all raise a glass of the water of life if you can manage to close this gap. This is your one last chance to try and get five out of the machine to draw level before sudden death. <sighs> no pressure. Uh, right. Go for number four, please. Drop zone four it is. Can you find those five counters? These five to force sudden death. Oh, it's a bit further over than I'd like. It is a touch far over. Is it going to be flat? It is. Can we get a couple over? And then you need a bit of lateral. They're uh, nicely I, I connected. Can, I can't see five, surely, if anything. Oh, no! No, machine, oh, wasn't no! To be. I don't think any of us didn't expect they'd go not. I don't, yeah, I don't, to be fair. No it worries. didn't go. Nothing more to add. You finally did get a correct answer. Yep. But Chaz had done all the hard work. At the end of the round, our winner with £1,450 going through to play for the jackpot is Chaz. Very well done, Chaz. Thank you. Thank you. That was a particularly impressive Thank you. round by you. Well done, Thank you. you. Chris, I'm so sorry. You've been brilliant. You battled be. hard. No, it was not today, because with £1,200, we have found it in point. Thank you for playing. Right, thank you very much. Lovely to have you here. Cheers. So, Chaz, very well done to you. In a few moments, I'm going to ask you to put this chatbot counter into the machine. This one is a little bit bigger, but so much better than all the others. If you get this one out, you're going to go home with £10,000. Can Chaz master the machine by finding its chatbot tipping point? We'll find out after the break. Now that your chance with an amazing cash prize for £30,000. Go to the website. Entries cost £2. Text WIN to 65433. Text cost £2 plus one standard network rate message. Call 09068785433. Calls cost £2 plus your network access charge. Or post your name and phone number to TP232, PO Box 7558, Derby DE10NQ. Entrance must be 18 or over. Lines close at 10 a.m. Monday week. Welcome back to the final part of Tipping Point. Chaz is today's winner, has managed to get £1,450. Well done, you. Thank you. That was a cracking round three for you, yeah, wasn't absolutely, it? Absolutely. A couple absolutely. of risks along the way, but it's paid off. Mm -hmm. You've seen off all the others. Now it's just you, the machine, and the chance to go home with our chat pot, Chaz. Uh, you've got your two boys at home. I'm sure they'll be thrilled to bits that you got They'd this far. They'll be absolutely over the moon. Have they decided what they'd like to do with your money if you were um... to get the jackpot out? <laughs> yeah, I think they'd like some, some com computer games. Undoubtedly. But I think... Go on a nice holiday, oh, that'd be me nice. and the boys. Yeah. It'll be a lovely way to celebrate a fantastic yes. show, fantastic performance, and potentially a wonderful jackpot as well, so best of luck. Thank you very much. Time to find out whether Chaz is going to win our jackpot in a few moments. I'm going to ask you to put the jackpot counter into the machine. If you want to go home with 10 grand, just get it out again. If you want to go home 20, see if you can mm -hmm. get it to drop one of the doubles that's still in there. Here's how you'll do it, Chaz. I'm going to show you six question categories. Mm -hmm. For each category, you choose to play one, two, or three counts into the machine. The more you play for, the harder the question, the more you win, the better your chances. OK. I'm sure you know how it works. Yes. Right, we need to put the jackpot counter into the machine. An interesting challenge, this. What are you thinking looking at it now? Where looks like the right place? It's been sticking out to me, I think, drop zone four. Drop zone four? Yeah. Let's do it. Fire up drop zone four. Top shelf's full. Double and a mystery prize on the bottom shelf. Certainly feels like there's lots of action to be had. I was hoping it would ride. Do you want it seriously? I was hoping it would ride, yeah, because it would get it over the top much quicker. Interesting. Interesting tactics. It doesn't happen often that people think that. But it can work. You're absolutely right. Two counters drop down. It's £100. 1,550 pounds. So your riding tactic didn't quite work because it is nice and flat, but mm -hmm. let's see if we can get it out nonetheless okay. with it nice and flat on that top shelf of drop zone. Don't fall. Let's have a look at in-game subjects, Chaz. We have TV, comic books, geography, politics, sport and literature. You can play them in any order. So where should we start and for how many? I'm going to go different. I'm going to go from the bottom. OK, so we start with literature? Yeah. So for how many? Literature, please. I'm going to go for two, please, on literature. Starting at the bottom, literature for two counters, please. Which Mr Men character is known as Don Silencioso in Spain? Mr. Happy, Mr. Bounce, or Mr. Quiet? 
Silencio, silencioso is quiet in Spanish. So I'm going to go with Mr. Quiet. Mr. Quiet. OK, let's load up Mr. Quiet. Don Silencioso. Is that the Spanish for Mr. Quiet? Yes. And Mr. Bounce apparently is Don Saltarin. Don Saltarin. Two counters. Drop zone four? Uh, yes, please. Let's do it. Far four up, please. There. Nice. Oh, wow. Great first drop. Now, then, how about that? Right. I'm not sure if it was riding that we got that close. Ooh. Nice. And we'll take those three as well. Oh, wow. Three across the tipping point, which is £150. Takes up to £1,700. And we can double it up and add another £150. Takes up to £1,850. OK. One more. Drop zone four again. Drop zone four, please. Right, let's do it. Did you drop this too soon? Yes, she did. Did I? Is that going to ride? No, no. It's flat. It's flat. Were you trying flat. to get that one to ride as well? So confused. Well, yeah. Um, <laughs> no, I just was a bit... Uh, a bit premature one, I'm afraid. Couple over here, though, maybe. One more sneaks in. That's OK. okay. It's all right. No damage done. £50 drops in. Takes up to £1,900. We've already got that jackpot counter on the edge of the top shelf, which is cracking stuff. Right, let's go back to the categories. OK, uh, I'm going to go with sport, please. Sure. I'm going to go sport for three, please. Sport for three this time, please. Scotsman Tom Stoltman won which prestigious competition in June 2021? World's Strongest Man, Dakar Rally or World Triathlon Series? Right. Um, wouldn't be the Dakar, because I don't think he could, have, he could fit in a Dakar rally car. No disrespect to him. Uh, one of three brothers, strongest world's strongest man. Tom Stoltman, pretty sure he might be world's strongest man. Let's light it up. Is it world's strongest man? Yes. Six for eight, weighs more than 28 stone. Yeah, it's big lad. Great stuff, fantastic that you knew that. Three counters. Drop zone four? Drop zone four, please. Right, let's do it. Get your timing right here, Chaz. Let's get the jackpot down. Go on, there, that's oh, nice. Yes. The way that's set, I think it could go over. A little bit Come of lateral. On, and it does. Oh, it does. God, wow. Imagine if you've got that riding. Yeah, that's why I said, so I wanted it to ride. What do you mean, it's big flat? <laughs> Method did my madness, Ben. Four across the dipping point, 200 pounds goes in. Up to 2,100 pounds. Two more to go here. Four again. Drop zone four again, please. Light out, please. That's nice too, you know. Oh, wow. That silver one Needs comes over. Silver one. It will. It's not quite yet, is it? Oh, it's just not now. Quite. Just was it ready? Was it? was it ready? We've got one more to go in, though. Drop zone four again? Yes, please. Light it up, please. Not bad not either, quite, you know. Not quite, yeah. But I, it will push. It will push the silver one if it stays flat. With a which little it bit does. of lateral. Lateral will push its silver over. It's gonna move it nicely. It's gonna yeah, move it nicely. How many times I've spoken about this on TV? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my gosh! Two more go over. Another hundred pounds. Chaz, we're up to two thousand two hundred pounds. Right, You've okay. only put five counters in, and you're mm. on the tipping point tipping with your jackpot. Point. Let's have a look at the categories then, Chaz. Um, politics next, fancy? Yes, I'll go for politics. And for how um, many? I'll go politics for three, please. Politics for three it is. Which of the following British Prime Ministers was born most recently? David Cameron, Theresa May, or Boris Johnson? I'm going to laugh. Because? Because I share the same birthday with one of them. Which one? Boris. What, same birth date? Same day, same... We were swapped at birth. <laughs> <laughs> Boris Johnson, then, you share the same date. So what's your birth date? What year? Uh, I think 1964. It is. I think that's the, that's 64, the most pertinent 64. bit. 64. So you know he was 1964. Theresa mm -hmm. May. Theresa May, I know she's, she's older than Boris. OK. It's so just then David it's... Cameron. I'm going to say David Cameron. David Cameron? Yeah. OK, we're going to line up David Cameron, please. Let's see if you're right. Is the answer David Cameron? 
Yes. Wow. Wow. 1966. Wow. Just two years in it. Very wow. well done, Chaz. Awesome stuff. Right. Three counters. Three counters. Drop zone four. Drop zone four. Please. Light it up, please. All right, come on then. This could go. I'll tell you what, that... Not quite, not quite there, is Might it? Might have a little sniff of your mystery prize, though. Ooh, if it drifts this way a bit mm. more. And it does. Oh, another mystery pounds prize. drops in. Very nice. £2,250. And you've got a mystery prize as well, which is a weekend break at the four-star Glen Morriston Townhouse Hotel in Inverness. Oh, wow. That sounds fab, wow, doesn't it? yeah. Thank really you. Really lovely. Two more to put in. Drop zone four, please. Drop zone four it is. Silver one that's hanging over just to the left of centre. I wonder if that's the one we need or one something a bit further right. Not sure. Except the black one. Drops. Yeah, do you think so there? Oh, yeah. Say, there's maybe a bit of lateral if that stays flat. I think it is, you're right. There we go. It stays flat. It's gonna push those three, the black three, please. Go on yeah, then. That's the one. Is that the do one? Do we get lateral? Nearly there. Is it gonna get it over Nearly the there. Oh, oh, dear me. It's just a bit heavy, oh, isn't it? It's just yeah, a bit heavy. It's a bit heavy. That's all right. One more to go in. Drop zone four, please. Light up, drop zone four. Is this it? Oh, there's oh. there, Chaz, no? Come on. Yeah, that's there, but Drive will it push forward. it over? Will it push it over? <laughs> <laughs> just shuffled that shelf. It all looks very full now. Yeah. Jackpot count has lined up one really mm. nicely positioned behind it as well. Yeah. We're going to have to go back to the categories. Still got three more to go. You're doing a okay. cracking job, Chaz. Keep it up. Geography's next. Geography. I'll go for two on geography, please. Two for geography. <laughs> Which European capital city is known locally as Beograd? Budapest, Belgrade or Bucharest? Uh, I... No idea. Uh... I'm going to go with my God, Budapest. Budapest? Budapest. Like Budapest, up? yes, please. We're going with Budapest, please. Is it Budapest? <laughs> Belgrade. Belgrade. Capital of Serbia. OK, okay. not to worry. Not we can still do this. We've got two more to go. Comic books and Comic TV. books. Comic books. So what do you reckon? One, two or three? I'm going to go for two for comics. Just be honest. Two for comics? Two for comics. OK. Which of these is the civilian identity of the superhero Iron Man? Bruce Banner, Peter Parker, or Tony Stark? Well, I know this one. That's good. So I know it's not Bruce, and I know it's not Peter, so it's Tony Stark. Tony Stark? Yes. I'm going to light up Tony Stark, please. Feel pretty confident. Let's see if you're right. Iron Man. Is his civilian identity Tony Stark? Yeah, well done. <laughs> Bruce Banner is the Hulk, Peter Parker is Spider-Man, of course. Yep. That's it, yeah. Well done. Right, two counters, Chaz. Drop zone four. Drop zone four, please. Four up, please. Oh, oh yes, stay, there, stay, stay there, stay there, stay there, stay there. Too far. Where is it going to go, that black counter? So if it comes, oh, oh, if they go together, it might sneak right, Chaz! Oh, dear me. <laughs> Look where it is. Eight counters, £400. It's a very nice drop, up to 2650 and mm -hmm. that jackpot is winking at the wind It's winking. One more. Drop zone four, please. Come please. on, Chaz, drop zone four, please. We know where it's got to go. We can see it. Could that oh, do it? If it pushes it? those two black and they separate, if those two black ones go over and they sli separate slightly, Chaz, is this it? Is this your ten thousand pounds? Yeah! Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> wow. oh, jazz! Oh my gosh! That was absolutely sensational. Oh, I'm shaking. How does that feel? Absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. You've just won ten thousand pounds, my wow. friend. Thank you. Man in style. Tell me what you're going to do with the money. Uh, I'm going to take the boys on a holiday. So, so chuffed for you and the boys. Yes. You're going to have a fabulous holiday. Thank you very 10, much. £10,000 on those prizes. Really well done, my Thank friend. You. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, Chad's got off to a good start, finishing in first place in round one. 
Slight stumble as he fell into second place in round two, but he made a brilliant comeback in round three, winning five of the six potential counters, which secured his place in the final round. Then he was a little bit cautious in the final round four, but it was with his 10th counter into the machine that he managed to tease the jackpot into the win zone, taking home a wonderful £10,000. As well as that, Chaz, you've got your supercar driving experience and you've got your weekend break for two well, as well. Thank you very much. I've just thoroughly enjoyed yeah, playing I've, alongside I've you. I've enjoyed it as well. It's been a pleasure to meet you. You've been a superstar. Thank well you. done, you. Thank you very much. So there you go, Chaz is leaving with £10,000 and he's practically cleaned us out of prices as well. What a brilliant win. Join us next time when the fate of three more players will hang